Hey cute people. Yes, this is like my fourth, fifth attempt to do this one video. Something really, really simple. At least I think it's simple. It is simple. It's just like um, my everyday simple makeup routine. That's really all it is. But every time I get ready to upload this video, something goes wrong. Either I can't upload it, I don't have enough memory on my um, phone because I record on my phone because I don't have a great camera but I tell you this experience has been so oh frustrating to me but I'm gonna try it again today and I have recorded two full-length routines full-length but could not upload them for whatever reason so I'm hoping this one I'll be able to so like I mentioned this is something I do when I'm going to be out of the house just for a couple of hours it's nothing really really complex as you know I'm just a lover of makeup I'm not um, someone who can expertly put it on you definitely not myself <laughs> but like I said this is not a tutorial because I cannot tutorial anyone it's just me playing in some makeup that I have because I'm always hauling it so why not show you guys some of the things that I do and I'm just gonna get started so so like I mentioned this is just something simple that I do not long ago I hauled on um, my first Fenty products and that's what I've been using that's what I'm gonna use now and I still keep it in the box yep I still keep it in the box and I will make an attempt this is just an attempt to place all the products I use below down in the description box but I'm just gonna use this um, primer soft matte I believe it says and like I said I keep it in the box I don't know why I keep it in the box I just didn't have the heart to throw it away I don't know I don't know, but I just wanted to keep it. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's pinkish in color. And I like the bottle, and I've been using this pretty much in the last couple of days that I've been wearing makeup out. Well, we always wear it out. But that I've been wearing makeup, I've been using the Fenty products that I purchased. And everything I purchased so far, I really, really like. And as you can see, I have dark circles under my eyes. I do not know from whence they came. I've had them for quite some time. I do not like them at all. And I always say in um, videos, which you heard me say more than once, that I am so makeup lazy. I hate to conceal. And I just use my glasses to camouflage my dark circles. Because I don't think most people are looking too far past my lens but if they are whatever but yeah this um primer feels so good it feels like a moisturizer soft matte long wear foundation again this is not the latest one but again it's still in the box yes i take it out of the box and put it right back in the box yeah i guess i love riri that much but my color is 440. This is the color. I guess it would be my summer color because I purchased this in the summer from Sephora. And as you can see, see it's dirty, so it lets you know I do use it. Now my routine is really simple. I like um a medium coverage. Really sheer to tell you the truth. I'm not really into full coverage much I don't even think I have I may have one full coverage foundation but um I don't use it much and then what I'm going to do next is blend it out this is what it looks like on me I want to blend it out with the Sonia Kashuk brush I see people use this side it feels funny using this side so I use the flat end and I'm just gonna beat it into my face so, this is what it looks like on my skin. Again, this is 440. And I love, do you hear me when I tell you? This foundation. I can't wait to try her latest foundation. So, I'm going to make sure I get all spots on my face because... I'm getting older and I don't see as well and I know there's been times when I've missed spots I get them later on <laughs> but 
but I have missed some spots applying makeup and foundation to my face. So I make sure I get my neck. The next thing I'm going to place on my face is going to be the Ulta Brow Pomade. And this is definitely in dark brown, I believe, y'all. And this is what it looks like. And I just placed this with a particular brush. I always change the type of brush that I use. But I think it's, is it this one? Hmm, I think it's this one. Yeah, I believe it's this brush here. This is a brush from e.l.f. I'll tell you the name of the brushes, but I most likely won't include the names below, but I'll include the products below. But this is an angle brush, e.l.f. Yeah. So, as you can see, I don't have much when it comes to eyebrows when I was young. And this is when I was real young. My stepfather used to tell me, you have great eyebrows because you don't have any. That means you can make them out to be whatever you want. And um, I'm like, at that time, I thought, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But now I feel like, hmm, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> but me, myself, I try to keep my eyebrows relatively small. I like them full, but... I think small is best for me. And if you've been watching my videos for quite some time, you'll probably notice that my brows always come out different. I noticed that and I don't like it. This is the one thing I don't like is doing brows. So I get that done. And then I'm just going to take this mascara wand. That's all it is, is a mascara wand. And just kind of sweep through it. My little non-existent brow. Build them up. I use this here because this helps make them like evenly colored. Because like I said, usually one comes out so much darker than the other. Usually my left because I have more hair on that one. And this, as you can see, has a little fine point here and I'm just gonna and I like it because it gives me like hair like well not hair like strokes but it makes it look like I have hair coming from my eyebrow which I do like and then I'm just gonna brush through it once again with the old cleaned up mascara wand Now, I like for my eyebrows to stay in one spot. So for the longest time, I was trying to find a gel. I found this here by CoverGirl. It's Easy Breezy Brow. I think they have it in different colors, but this one is clear. So I just use this to help my hair stay in one spot. So the next thing I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer, which, you know, everybody uses this. We all love it. So I'm going to use this to shape my brow. Get it to look a little decent. I'm not going to use a lot because I don't want to have to blend too long. I, You know, like I said before, and mark, and not mark my word. Yeah, well, I guess, yeah, mark my word. Would that be? Listen to what I'm saying when I say that I am so makeup lazy. I literally mean that I am so makeup lazy. I don't want to blend. I don't want to do my eyebrows. But I want to look cute. And I know I'm not the only one. And I think, you know... Maybe when it comes to younger women, not maybe when it comes, but younger women, you know, really have the patience for this. I don't, but I still love makeup. And I think that's, well, not think that, but that's why I tell you guys I don't wear makeup like I used to. I wish that I loved or cared about makeup as much as I do now when I was a younger girl. Oh my goodness. I would have went off. Like some of these young ladies do. They look so good with their makeup. 
So then I take this little brush I have right here and I'm just gonna blend it out. Okay, so this is pretty much what it comes to look like once I, what is that? What do I wanna call it? Blend out the concealer. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Okay, so I do love to wear an eyeshadow. Sometimes I just use a bronzer um, just to bring some color to my face. But today I'm gonna do something a little different. This here is an old product which I need to throw out because the cap is cracked. I don't know if you can see that. And I think I will throw it out because I have enough um, primers. I believe this is from L'Oreal or was it Maybelline? And I'm not even sure if this was an eye sealer, um, a concealer or an eye primer. I'm not even sure. I've had it for a long time. So then I just place some of that on my eye here and then I'm just going to blend it out with the um, Real Techniques brush that I used prior to. And I have oily lids, so something that I always make sure that I do is I place some powder on my lid. This is the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. It looks like such, and it comes like such. Here it is. And as you can see, I do wear makeup because I hit pan. I know you're probably saying she's always hauling. Show us a look. Show us a look. But I use it. See? Hit pan. So then I'm just going to take the little sponge that comes with it. And I like this compact because it has a, a mirror. But I'm going to use a little sponge here. And just place it on my eye. Mm -hmm. Make sure I hit my eye because... These lids get oily, y'all. I don't know why. And I have dry skin, but I have oily lids. Go figure. Okay. So then I'm going to go back to the little sponge I have just to blend everything out and make it a little bit um, nice, neat, even. Blend it out. Now, this palette I'm going to be working with today is a palette that I use all the time. I wish that I had um, watched or looked for some videos before I purchased it because I don't find this palette to be black girl friendly at all. And even though I use it all the time, every day, and I use it because to me it gives me like a real subtle look. It is the Too Faced... Um, I can't tell if that's peanut butter and honey. Get my handy dandy. I didn't tell you guys I had a magnifying glass. Yeah, peanut butter and honey. Yes, that's the palette here. Really pretty, right? We were all going crazy over it. You could smell the um, peanut butter, the honey, the chocolate. Which you can still faintly. I've had this palette for a long time, as you can see. I've hit pan on two of the colors. Because like I said, I use it all the time, every day. I don't find that um, these colors show up an awful lot. Even when I put, like if I put a white base on, it shows on, it shows up much more. But nah, I ain't got time for all that. I told you I'm lazy. But I like this palette because it really, really gives me... Um, A light story on my eyes okay so I'm gonna go into this color here I'll tell you what the color is bees knees and I will be going into honey brittle also but first I'm gonna tap into bees knees that's this color here I use this color all the time which you can tell and I just um, Place it a little bit over my crease, right under my brow. And the brush that I'm using, this is from Sephora. Let me tell you what they say this brush is. Okay, it says it's an eye. Blending eye. <laughs> blending eye brush from Sephora. I've had this brush for a long time and I really like it. And you see what I mean about the color? It just gives you a soft wash. It's nothing that is too pronounced and I, I'm cool with that. That's why I just pick this palette up all the time because you can do like a 
two second eye, well, more than two seconds, but you really don't need to do much. And you can place this color on your lid and go. You could just put some more colors on, which is what I'm gonna do. I build it up enough for me. Like I said, this is just um, something really simple. So if you're like me and you just have to run an errand, um, you just want to make, you know, you know you're not going to do much with your hair. So you figure your makeup or well, you know, should look cute, but natural and cute for the day. Then this is a look for you. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm finished here. Okay. And that's it. Then I am going to take another blending brush. Where did I get this one from? I try to keep things separate, but yeah. And then I'm going to use another brush by Sephora. They call this one here. Let me tell you. They call this a rounded crease. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. That's what it looks like. It's just another crease brush, if you ask me. They come out with 25 different types of crease brushes. And I guess they all perform differently, but do you really need them all? I think not. Now I'm gonna go into Honey Brittle. That's the lighter color here. And I'm just gonna put that a little, well, I'm just gonna use that color because I wanna use this one to blend out the of the color that I just placed on my eye. So I just wanna blend it out a little bit. And I don't wanna go too far below my brow. I just wanna blend that color out a little bit. And that's that. You know, one thing I see and I believe um, wholeheartedly, and I'm sure you will also, is that when you place your makeup on your face, you should do it whichever, whichever way you want. And especially when it comes to your eyeshadow, you can do it whatever way you want, but just blend. I think for me, I blend to death because I can't really see. Like I said, I'm I'm over 50. How old am I? I, I, I forget sometimes, but I'm over 50. So I over blend because I want to make sure that I get done what I need to get done. So this is what it's going to come out to look like. Choose any palette that you want. But remember, if you're not going far, you ain't got to do much. That's my model anyway. So now I'm going to take this brush here. Let me see where do I want. I just want to simple brush i think i'm just going to use this brush here it's by who is this this is an elf brush it's probably most likely a shadow brush i think and then i'm just going to take um this color here feeling nutty which is this color i love this color here i don't know it's just really fall it speaks to me it does make me think of honey so I'm just going to take this color here. And luckily for me, as you can see, there's not much fallout. I haven't gotten anything on my face. But I'm just going to place this. And see what I mean about this particular palette here? It doesn't give you a lot of color. But your eyes will still be able to shine a little bit. And I like that. Now, if you want to use a white base, maybe... Um, you definitely can if you want more color payout. But for me, this is okay. I can... I can do this, all right. Because I just want a little bit of color on my face. And there we go. And to me, it's really like... Natural, if that makes sense. It's like a natural look. Yeah, I guess I can say it's a natural look because I'm not going to be out too long. And then I'm just going to use a brush to blend that out. I'll just use this brush here, which is the brush I used before, which is another brush by Sephora. And this one is the rounded crease, which I did use before. So I'm going to use it again. All right, and then I'm just going to 
But then now. Uh, And this is the look, pretty much. Just smoked it out a little bit here. Now, of course, I'm not going to do anything to the bottom of my lashes because, or well, the bottom of my eye, because I'm not going to be out of the house that long. I'm not going to a ball. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so that's what that comes to look like. And then what I've been doing lately, because I used to use, um, what do you call that? Um. A felt liner but then my eyes would start tearing so what I'm using now is just a simple eyeliner pencil which is down to the nub but I really like this because um, yeah I really like it because it's nice and it's creamy it's by Avon I do have a backup so trust me I, I know it just looks like wow so then I'm just gonna line my eye I like a very thin line, so, and lately it seems like I just can't get my line to be straight like I want it to be, I don't really worry about that too much because I just smudge it out, I'll show you what I do, and I like when I smudge it because I have beautiful, sexy, large eyes, I can, um, use a lot of dark eye makeup around my eye because it just makes it a little bit smaller which is cool with me and for some reason I can never get a thin line on the left eye I don't know why that is I, I guess I see better in one I see it just never comes out straight which is okay because the next thing I'm going to do is take this little smudge I have if I can find it. Yeah, and this is a little smudge that I have, and it's by um, oh, what's this people? Elf. And then I'm just gonna smudge out the liner. The mascara I've been using lately is this Maybelline Rocket Volume. Someone sent me this a long time ago, so I still use it. Well, as a matter of fact, I just opened it up a couple of days ago, so I don't know if this is still something that's on the market, but this is what I've been using as of late. So, for me putting on mascara, it takes a long time, because just like brows, I have none. Lashes, I have none. And if you guys know of, now I like lashes, I love um, falsies, but for every day, I'd rather have an everyday looking falsy, you know, eyelash. So if you know one that I can pick up, let me know. I know I have some, but I believe they're not in my North Carolina stash, I believe they're in my New York stash. Which again, I have to cancel my plans to go to New York. Once again. I wish somebody could just bring me that stuff. Because trying to get to New York to get it is not easy. But, yeah. So this is just my very long makeup application. So remember now, if you know some natural looking lashes that I could use. I used to wear the um, extensions and I love those. The only thing about the extensions that I did not care for was that when I get in the shower, I love to run the water over my face. And, of course, you can't do that because you don't want to lose your lashes. You want them falling out of your face after you spend so much money getting them done. Okay, now, another thing I always have a problem with when I apply makeup, my nose running. And it is running now. I don't know why that happens, but it is. Now... Usually, I'm, I think I mentioned to you guys, usually I do not um, apply conceal and all that other stuff under my eyes because I wear readers. So, I just use the readers to camouflage the dark circles. But today, I'm going to do a little something different because, for, you know, when I wear um, contacts, I got them because I didn't want to wear the glasses. So, if I wear makeup, I don't want you to see those dark um, circles under my eyes. So... I'm going to go, and I don't do this part often, but I'm going to get more into it because I 
would like not to have to wear the glasses so much. And I just put a little bit on my face and not a whole lot. Even though I think sometimes I should, probably should put more, but I don't. Nah, I don't. And, yeah. Now, when I was mentioning to you before about my changing my routine, this is something I want to do before um, foundation. But like I said, I've been doing it this way for so long. I'm just so used to it. It's just so instinctive. For me to do it the way that I've been doing it. But like I said, I do want to play with some other applications. Okay. If you use a corrector, which I didn't even tell you what this one was. This is a corrector from um, LA Girl. And at the time, these correctors were $1.99. The concealers too. And I see them in... Ulta for $4.99. So I wonder how much the beauty supply store is selling them for now. Hmm. So I'm just going to let, let this dry up a little bit because um, I want to do something else in the meantime, which is... Hmm. I'm going to place some... What do you call this stuff here? This is a contour and stick that I got face sculpted. It's from Ulta Beauty. And this color is... Um, deep cool. Why don't why I get deep cool? That's why it doesn't look right. It's deep cool. I, I should have gotten deep warm, but I don't think they had a lot of um, colors. Um, and really, I'm just going to put here on my face, which you can see it's not really a match because you probably can't even see it. Probably won't even do anything. And this is the only contour I have, I believe. So I'm just going to put it on my face because mm, it ain't my color. I mean, my um, cheeks here, but it's not my color. I have to find another one. So I'm on a hunt now for another one, but I won't be getting the Ulta because I don't know why I get deep cool. And I've been using it, but that's that. So if this was the right color, mm -hmm, this is what I would be using. This is the e.l.f. Um, contouring brush. See, So I'm just going to use this again. I shouldn't even have put it on my face, but that's okay. Because you can see um, my natural highlight contour, I should say, come through. And that's okay. So now you see I have this on my face here. So I'm just going to um, blend this out. I'm going to blend it out with um, a Real Techniques brush. It's not the Beauty Sponge. just another name for this one here. But I'm just going to blend it out. Now, the one thing I want to share with you, when I bought the um, Fenty, concealer, I bought the color for my face because I really didn't want a highlight. I bought this really for my everyday use because everybody was talking about how much this foundation is like your skin, which is so much is. I tell you, she, they... Whoever was in the lab did a great job with this and whoever signed off on it did a better job because this stuff, this foundation is really one I like. This is the um, Pro, this is the Fenty Beauty Concealer and this is what it looks like, which you probably already know what it looks like. My color here is 440 because like I mentioned, I didn't want any um, color to highlight. I didn't want anything to contour. I just wanted my shade. And like I said, this is for every day for me. And it's just something. Well, so then I'm going to use that same um, beauty sponge and I'm just going to blend it out. I don't know, like, I like highlighting, but I don't do it for quick days out. That's just me. I feel like for quick days out for me, I just want to look put together. To tell you the truth, I even have a 
smaller routine, shorter routine than this. It's really short. <laughs> but this one is one that, because every woman has a day when she just wants to look cute. I don't care. Um, you just want to look cute. And you ain't going nowhere but to a dollar, General Dollar Tree, Walmart, Michael's, get some Chinese food, go to your mama house. But you still want to look cute. And this is that look for you, girl. Because I'm almost finished. And I told you guys, blending on oh, gets on my nerves. I need to hire me a blender. And I mean a person that blends. But if I tell you. Okay, so now that I have the concealer pretty much blended out. Then I'm going to go ahead and set it. And I'm going to set it with an oldie but goodie. Because I'm... I know if you've been watching videos for quite some time, you are very familiar with the Ruby Kisses Set It and Forget It. And this color here that I have is Banana. So I'm going to use this here. And of course, there ain't no baking here. This is just placing it on your face and keeping it moving. So I'm going to be using this Real Techniques brush. And I told you I'll tell you all the brushes. I'm telling you... Okay, let's see if I can tell you what this is. It's a contour. They say it's a contour brush. Yeah. But I'm going to use this here very lightly. Am I going to place... this on my face here. Everywhere that I put the concealer. And now you know I need to bring some color back to my face, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker. This is Coco Nati. Very pretty. Very pretty. I love her packaging. I tell you, it's really cute, simple, and chic. And just so you guys know, I do use it because if you're familiar with the Fenty products, you know there'd be an FB here, but you don't see it because I use it. And then for this, like I said, I'm just going to put some color back into my face. Um, I'm going to use this brush here by Real Techniques. This is not the brush I would normally use, but this is what I'm going to use now. And this is a multitask brush, so you can use it, I guess, for anything. But I'm going to use it. And now this color here, I think I could have um, gone a little deeper, maybe. I don't know. You tell me what you guys think. Now, I don't know if you can see a lot or not, but like I said, if you can, let me know what you think of this color. Because when I got it from the store, the young lady helped me pick it out. And you know, it's a funny thing. When you're in a store, the makeup looks A color. Then when you get it home, it always looks B color. And I'm not very close to the Sephora to keep going back, changing. So I kept it. But when I put it on, I'm not sure if I see much of anything. That's where you guys come in. Let me know what you think about it. Can I go deeper? Coco Nati. And after I do that, yep, it's still in the box. Still in the box. But I just had to rip open the um, concealer box because it always gets stuck. So this goes in the garbage. It ain't cute no more. And then I think what I'm going to do really, really quickly is use a brush. Blush, blush, blush. Black Radiance, and this color here is a Brick House. It was fairly a new color. Well, it said new, so it's not that long that I got it. It's really pretty, right? And one thing I always do, or never do, I should say, I never put a lot of blush on. 
you probably sometimes can't even tell I even have on blush. That's how I like my makeup. Now, when it comes to eyeshadow, that might be different. You can, I think you can go off on eyeshadow. But when it comes to other makeup, I just like it to be cute and simple. I don't... And I think... When you get older, it's just certain things you just need to be careful of. Because your cheeks are not where they used to be. Your eyelids are not where they used to be. And makeup looks different. Now, I've never been a big... Um, wing liner person but I have done it a couple of times and I know this now since I'm older it doesn't really look the same now I can probably experiment and try some different things which I am going to do because I like the wing liner I think it looks really cute okay so now the next thing I want to do I'm going to go back to my nub of the eye liner pencil and then we use the same brush here which you can see is real techniques and it's um an angle brush i think that's what they call it. i'm just gonna put a little bit here on my eye but another thing i'm gonna be using and i'm not sure i just saw this and it said 5.99 it's from revolution and i picked it up i got it from tj max i've used it a couple of times it's it's okay but maybe, yeah, it's okay. It's the Ultra Glow, Ultra Pro Glow palette. And it was $5.99, so I went and picked it up. I hauled it before. See, can you see? There you go. And this is what it is. These are the colors. Let's see. I don't want to wash it out too much. It looks pretty much like that, I think you can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one of two things. I'm going to take this real techniques brush that i have that i always use for highlight and it's this brush here and they call this brush what do they call this brush here oh goodness gracious i tell you it's a targeted blending brush but I use it for highlights. So I'm going to go into, there's no names or anything on it, but I'm going to go into this color right here, which I'm trying to give you a great, okay, this here. And I'm just going to place it under my brow, just a little bit under my brow. This is not the brush I would normally use to place things under my brow. But I had it in my hand, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And then I'm going to put a little bit here on my Cupid. Yeah, why did I use this brush? I don't even know. And then I'm going to place a little bit here. And I'm not putting a lot. Okay, so now after I place it there, I just usually use my finger if I want to tone it down just so you can see I have a highlight and I'm going to do the same here for my eye brow and like I said I don't use this brush I don't even know why I did that now if a little peeks through that's okay there you go and I have some of my cupid over here more on my Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take um, a found the brush that I used to place my bronzer. Oh, did I use this to do the bronzer? I think so. I'm just going to tone it down a little bit. Okay. I don't know what this is, what I use this for. There you go. Okay, so, and like I said, when it comes to blush, now I can't tell in my camera's viewfinder how much blush I have on, but here it looks okay. This is every day. I'm not going out to um, do much, if anything, but I just want some color on my face today. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this old Wet n Wild lip 
liner in the color chestnut and I'm just going to line my lip throwing this away I've had it a long time and then I'm going to place on my lips a MAC lip color I'm going let me see if this is a MAC color oh it's a frost oh it's called carnal instinct all right, so I'm gonna place this on my lip. I'm surprised I picked this because I usually pick. And then I'm gonna use this Real Techniques. I think this is a lip brush. I'm gonna take that same color that I placed on my highlight cheekbone and my brow and I'm just going to take some of it and place it here And this is my look for the day. Like I told you guys, really simple, nothing too complex. You're running out of the house, you're gonna run back in. And even though I'm not gonna be out long, I'm still going to set it and I'm gonna set it with, now this has become my favorite. I haven't tried many, but I like this one. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter, yeah. I like this. This is a small bottle. I think the next time I purchase it, I will get the big one. But knowing me, after I use this, I'll be on to something else. But I like it. So I'm going to spray my face, which that feels so good. It doesn't have a bad smell, but the smell always makes me think of um, a hospital or a doctor's office. Something really antiseptic. Yeah. But this is my look, y'all. I think I might put on a little bit more blush. Let me do that, especially while this is still wet on my face. I'm just gonna put on a little more blush. Okay now, this is me, this is me. Just running out real quick. I probably would be back home in about four, anywhere from three to five hours. If I'm not at my house in the fourth or the fifth hour, I'll be at my mother's house. But this is it, something really simple, something that I do, like I mentioned, um, I just wanna put some color on my face, look like um, I'm presentable and all that. And hopefully, like I said, I just enjoy makeup, I like makeup. I cannot teach anyone what to do, how to do anything, because that's not where I am. But um, I'm just playing in makeup today. But one thing I can say is that when you do play in makeup and you use the makeup, just have fun. Make mistakes. Um, forget to blend enough, but then you'll learn because that's what we all do, right? But I do want to say that I appreciate everyone who stops by to watch my videos. And also, especially if you subscribe. Now, if you watch, that's great. If you watch and subscribe, that's great. If you made it to the end of this video, that's even better, which I hope you do. But one thing I do want to say is that I would really greatly appreciate it if you would, I hope you do, subscribe to my channel. Now, I'm going to end this video now because my son made some baked ziti. Yes, baked ziti. And I am ready to get into it. And I have a movie on my... DVR that I want to get into also so I'm gonna be doing that um, a little later on but this is just a simple look this is what I do and hopefully you've enjoyed this video thumbs me up y'all thumbs me up so I'm going to leave you now and hopefully I'll see you in my next video and I do want to say that I hope you guys share and spread love yes yeah, share and spread love now I gotta get this video uploaded. That's another task. Let's see how that works out. 
But this is my look. Casual, casual.